you know, there was a time when actors, actresses, people in Hollywood would keep their politics to themselves for the most part. It was a rare occasion when you would find out your favorite star's political leanings. But oh, how times have changed. Um, case in point, Mark Hamill. Now, Mark Hamill this past weekend was at the Fan Expo Chicago where he sat on a panel. He did a Q&A session. And during that Q&A session, he decided, you know, I'm not going to talk about politics, but I'm going to talk about politics. And so, being the page shield that he is, and that's what he is, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was Luke Skywalker in the original Star Wars trilogy. He was the Joker in Batman, the animated series and other animated Batman projects throughout the years. And, and make no mistake. Okay. Mark Hamill is Luke Skywalker. Mark Hamill for many growing up watching Batman, the animated series, he is the Joker. But now it's hard to look past those things, and and it's 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 getting awfully hard to, um, I don't know. Well, just listen to this. Listen to this, and you guys can decide. May the force be with you. Unless you're MAGA, then you can go force yourself. <laughs> Unless you're MAGA, then you can go force yourself. Woohoo! Yay! You know, what social media has done, it's, it's let us in on how these people in Hollywood literally hate half the country. It used to be, even Michael Jordan said, even Republicans buy sneakers. Michael Jordan knew, don't get political because you get political, people aren't going to buy your product. Well, Mark Hamill, you've just proven how much of a piece of crap you are how you hate half of your audience. And this, and this is exemplified. I mean, just look at his, look at his X feed. Everything, everything is DNC. Everything is, oh, Kamala. Tonight, just to be clear, I'll be there in person, so there's no need for me to watch it at home on pay-per-view, but everyone should, because it's sold out. Sexy, liberal Chicago. Now, this is just adding fuel to the Gina Carano lawsuit. Just to show the double standard that's out there. Kathleen Kennedy, Bob Iger, Lucasfilm. You know, you, you terminated Gina Carano's contract. You terminated Gina Carano from The Mandalorian because of political statements, quote unquote. You know, Mark Hamill's got a new project with Lego Star Wars. What about his political statements? Oh, that's right. You agree with his political statements. His are okay. Now, not only that, not only that, but you have this. Mark Hamill thinks that he's worth a four, $400 per autograph on an 8x10 photo. $500 for premium, $700 for bulky. Now, Mark Hamill, you're not the big star you think you are. Maybe in your own mind. Because I'll tell you, You can go see Ella Purnell, the star of Fallout. 
You can go see Hayden Christensen. You can go see William freaking Shatner, Captain Kirk. And pay a fraction to get an autograph and spend two minutes talking to these people than you would to get an autograph from Mark Hamill. Heck, even Marissa Tomei. Tome. Marissa Tomei. I almost said Tomei, thinking Mel Tomei. So there you have it. Mark Hamill, the paid shill who hates half his audience because they disagree with him. Telling, their, telling that, that half of his audience to go force themselves. Well, Mark Hamill, right back at you with a big F-bomb. So there you have it. Mark Hamill, everybody. There you have it. So what do you guys think of Mark Hamill basically hating on half his audience? Not to mention his autograph prices. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, oh yeah, share this out, share this video out there with your friends and family. And with that, I will see you guys later.